the streets of Minsk, Belarus's capital, filled with protesters. Chants of change and long live Belarus resounding through the city. Riot police pushed back against the demonstrators, deploying water cannon and firing tear gas and rubber bullets. Incumbent President Lukashenko had warned he would crack down on any unauthorized rallies. Follow the law, and any talk of repression will disappear. The law is above all else. If you break it, we will respond. And we've been light-handed in our response so far. To be honest with you, I've always held back our law enforcement. I told them there's no need for a heavy response. The protests kicked off after a state exit poll said Lukashenko was far ahead. Many of those in the streets believe the government rigged the results. Their concerns were echoed by opposition candidate Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, who rejected the early vote count. She said, quote, I believe my own eyes. The majority is with us. Long lines formed outside polling stations on Sunday, with many voters sporting the white armbands that are a symbol for Tikhanovskaya's supporters. This election poses the first serious challenge to Lukashenko's 26-year rule, with support for Tikhanovskaya growing over the last few weeks. She emerged as a leading opposition figure after her husband was barred from running, prompting her to stand as a candidate. She is now refusing to accept the feat, despite official numbers showing Lukashenko with a huge lead and his determination to keep a firm grip on power. For more, let's bring in Manuel Zalatin from Hamburg. He's a member of the German Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee and the Green Party's parliamentary spokesperson for Eastern European policy. Thanks for being with us, Mr. Zalatin. Uh, let me start by asking you about the Electoral Commission in Belarus saying that, uh, that uh, Lukashenko won around 80% of the vote. Do you think that's a credible result? You know, it's quite obvious that since 25 years, we haven't seen free and fair elections in Belarus at all. But I think not any election before has been as much fake as this one. I think that it's a clear fake election and even not to be called an election. Now, people took to the streets all over Belarus to protest the election result. Uh, human rights organizations are saying one person has been killed. What do you make of the way the police have responded to the demonstrators? I expected, actually, that uh, Lukashenko will use force and violence to clean up the streets, to not have a situation like in Ukraine or in Armenia. And it's clearly that his legitimacy has been broken to a certain extent. In the before years, we always had the impression that there's much more resentment against him and a much higher opposition than official polling is showing, but that he might have a majority in the country at, at all in any way. And this seems to be different this time. And I think that the West, that the European Union and also Berlin, has been wrong and being too soft in approach to Lukashenko mm. and believing his uh, flirt towards the West. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because I was looking at your Twitter feed and uh, reacting to Lukashenko's announced victory. You tweeted that the elections in Belarus should be a lesson to Berlin and Brussels. What should Germany and the EU learn from this? We should learn clearly that the idea that Lukashenko would uh, save uh, Belarus independence from Russia, or uh, a union state of Russia and Belarus, which is in debate since 25 years, is a fake argument by Lukashenko and the Kremlin to uh, hold us at, as a red herring. And we should see clearly that our only partner can be the democratic opposition and the democratic movement in the country. And if Belarus really clearly wants to change a course to a more openness towards West, it must be on a a value-based um, approach. How would you suggest that Germany and the rest of the European Union should go about bringing in Belarus into a closer relationship with the European Union that, uh, based on relations with those opposition parties? Mm -hmm. I think the first point is, even if it seems to be naive, we need to put in the full regime of sanctions again after we saw that Lukashenko was not holding his promises regarding the elections. 
European Union has to play a clear stance and parade. And we also have to be clear that with this person in power, an openness of the European Union will not be possible. He is only a corrupt puppet of the Kremlin playing the game as national um, leader of a country which is trying to sustain a sovereignty while in the backhand um, paying and um, selling out the country towards Russian interest. This must be clear. A path towards the west of Belarus will be not possible with such a uh, president acting in this way against a democratic opposition. Mr. Savitzin, thank you very much for talking with us. That was Manuel Savitzin, member of the German parliament.